how did you feel like the whole thing worked uh, Sunday with, I mean, the, the interior guys really got after it? You know what, I felt like it was a start. Uh, we see where we, where we are, uh, what we're capable of, and now it's all about just staying consistent. I think that um, I like some things that we, that we was doing, and I feel like it's some areas where we could, we could get better. Because, uh, you know, uh, running the ball, they, they, ran, they ran up for a little bit. We was, let, we was letting them uh, bust through there a couple times. Um, I know that's could be cleaned up because when we looked at the film, it was just like little things that um, that they was winning on, and so um, you just try to find the you just try to find that happy medium where you like, okay, we good at this. This is where we need to work. So I'm just happy we got a baseline. It seems like you guys are still kind of adjusting to like those odd man fronts. You, know, you sort of mentioned the transition. I mean, where do you think you guys are with that now? And like when you guys are adjusted to it, like what do you like about that? Uh, you know what? I like that you're not in the same spot like what JG says. Like they don't know how to attack you. I mean, they're not going to attack you from the same like you know spot that you normally be in. Uh, because as in a four-three end, you you pretty much either outside the tight end as an end, or you in a five uh, outside the tackle. And so I think that um, it's just a nice switch up. And I feel like we we've, we've gonna keep keep getting better as we keep uh, working it and repping it. Cause as you know, I mean, we just this is the first year. It's always you always gotta kind of go through some your, your hard the hard stuff first, and then you, it becomes a little easier. And I, I'm hoping that um, you know it's gonna be something that that helps us later. Is it an advantage when you're in that odd man front, like to get one on ones in passing situations? Oh yeah, I mean, there's certain runs that they're not gonna hit you with because it's not it's not good for the look. But you, but you tend to see what runs that that they do run up one with you. I mean, run against you, and you got to make sure that you uh, are stout in that. And so, I mean, I, all you got to do is really know how they want how they want to attack the the, um, the odd fronts and how they attack the because uh, we know how they attack the four man fronts. When, when, when you took the game that uh, on had, does uh, that show like the difference you can make when you start doing it? Oh, it helps. It helps a lot because now, now they got another problem to deal with. And so, uh, when you think when you think it's just Fletch you're gonna be dealing with, or me, or you going you got other guys on the line that's going uh, that you're giving a one on one to, that you might want to think about too. And so now it's all about uh, the offensive coordinator being creative on his part on, on how he attacks us. But it's only it's only a great problem to have when you got other guys on, uh, on the line doing good too. Seems like the 49ers, they, they always lose running backs and they always still run the ball well. What's the challenge of their running game? Um, you know they want to do it, and especially if they watch those first couple drives, you know, they, they might start. Yeah, trust me, we uh, we know our issues and we, we are working on them uh, as we speak right now. I know that uh, these guys are really good at that. Uh, they went to the they went to the Super Bowl pretty much off that, running the ball. Uh, I remember watching the, the Green Bay and, and 49ers game in the playoffs, and you would think that they was about to run like that, and they ran. Uh, so we just got our we just got our hands full. We got to make sure that we, we come out uh, with more intensity because uh, that's one thing I will say to them. Them guys run, uh, them boys running, and you got to make sure you keep up uh, or, or set the tempo. Uh, um, and that's uh, going to be our part is setting that tempo to, to dictate what's gonna happen, not let them, because that's what that's what they be doing with teams. They dictate the tempo, and we gotta make sure we we bring our own tempo. Yeah, obviously, the route is kind of hard. Uh, you know, how, how much challenge will that be? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a big challenge, but it's something that that we ready for because I feel like uh, with guys like or vets like me and Fletch and people that's been there before, we I mean, and then Hargrave know. Uh, I mean. It's just we just got to do our job. We got to go out and, and carry out our game plan, uh, make the main thing the main thing that's getting off the ball, keying, keying your guy, making sure your hands is good, your technique, and just making sure that you uh, have an effort to the ball. And so I think uh, if we had that mindset to just go out and just effort and, and, and do what we've been working on all week, I think we'd be fine. I think when you start trying to make plays on your own, that's when you get in trouble. How crazy! You, you and Fletch have been together ten years. You've been playing together ten years. You know that's so rare. You know, man, it's so cool too. And I'm trying to make sure that we end it with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Trying to go out because, uh, like I tell them every year, is you don't know. Every year I've been saying it, like Fletch, you don't know when it's gonna be when it's gonna be over. So let's maximize it the best we can. And 
with us being on the same side and we know we get to slide most of the time, which is cool. That's respect because I respect guys too. And um, we just got to make sure that we um, are doing exactly what people fear. It's, uh, and that's going out there and dominating each and every Sunday and, or at least maximizing to where other guys get the opportunity because of how dominant we are uh, up front. So I think that uh, we got a job to do to help other guys. And that's, and that's us just staying on ourselves, staying consistent and trying to, trying to go longer if we can. Hey, Brandon, um, obviously they used two quarterbacks in the last game, and, you know, different styles and everything like that. Uh, how tough is that to kind of prepare for? And, and what kind of things do you have to look for when, you know, let's say Trey Lance comes in as opposed to Garoppolo? Uh, well, you go off what you've seen at first. Um, so he was out there probably, what, five, couple plays. And, but uh, what you see, you, you work, and then as the game go, if, if it happens in the game where he comes in and they do something different, you just adjust. Um, and that's where the coaching come in because we know we got to go out there and do what they mainly do. And then they always got little, little wrinkles in there, and that's throwing another quarterback in. But we got to play like we're going to play, you know, Garoppolo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got to who, – who's the main guy? This is the guy that comes in right here. And he does this and he does that. He could throw too. He's their future, but right now they're working them in and we'll see what they throw at us. We just gotta that's when you that's when you really wanna read your keys and make sure that you uh you, you are on the same communication uh, as a defense because when a new guy come in that can threaten you on the run, uh you gotta make sure that you um, you get a hat on them. I wanted to ask you about uh Kayvon came in uh with, you know, no expectation of having to play pretty early. Uh, what did he show you, and, and what does that show about the whole kind of communication of the secondary that the whole thing kept working at a pretty high level, even with a new face in there? Yeah, he mean that just goes to show, like, you know, um, guys always got to have that next man up mentality, you know. No matter where you're at on the depth chart, you know, you have to, you know, have know the information and be able to, you know, uh, come in and be accountable, you know what I mean? So that's what he showed, he came in and um, was 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 playing, playing his tail off. How did you feel you played on Sunday? Me or? You, yeah. I feel like I played decent. A uh, couple areas I can always get better at. You know, that's what I'm always trying to strive for, just to get better. Um, I think I, for the first game, I definitely think I played OK. And what about, like, you know, the way you and Slay were able to work together? I mean, do you think that worked out pretty well? I mean, going back to how you guys did? Yeah, we, we, we've been working together um, this whole time since I've been here in training camp, you know, just, you know, trying to get better and uh you know I'm, I'm asking him questions he's asking me questions and you know just got, kind of just building that you know relationship on and off the field what's the challenge of their their two quarterback the 49ers two quarterbacks bg was just talking about it uh yeah. a little bit on uh how challenging is that they're so different too yeah you just got to kind of study uh you know it's you got to kick in uh studying a little extra a little overdrive you know because um they don't run the same plays um so you gotta you know know what plays you're going to expect when um, Trey Lance is in the game, and, and same with Jimmy G. With the 49ers, you know, they, they seem like every year they have wide receivers who you know, are really good after the catch. Is that more personnel, or do you think that's scheme? Like, what do you think goes into it? Um, I think that's, that's, their person, that's their personnel. You know, they, you know they, they like those guys, you know, those uh, tough guys, and, you know, they do a really good job at it, you know. Um, you know, they've been successful at it, you know, and that's probably what's made them, you know, a really good football team. It seemed like after those first two drives, tackling and coverage really uh, across the board got better. Mm -hmm. um, was that adjustments, scheme adjustments, or just kind of you guys settling down a little bit? Uh, just settling down, and I mean, that's, that's pretty much our mentality. You know, since I've been here, um, that's pretty much what I had said since day one. I did an interview with you guys that, you know, I noticed the physicality level here um, has went up from my years in the past. And, you know, we've been doing that this whole, my whole time here. So um, we're just putting it on display now. You guys obviously went against the tight end last, last week, who's really good at mm -hmm. going down together. And you got another one, obviously, in Kittle. Like, what are, what are the kind of keys to keeping him in check? Man, I would love to tell you the answer, man, but I can't give you the game plan, man. But Kittle is great, super great tight end, man. D does everything well. I mean, but obviously he's a guy you have to you know, keep an eye on. You know? You know, I guess so. We'll see, man. We'll see.
important is it that you're more than just a deep threat and that your guy can, you know, contribute in the mid-range game and the short game and, and kind of do whatever the offense calls for? Um, it shows that, you know, the work that I put in, you know, it's starting to pay off and uh, they're starting to trust me, you know, with, with third downs and stuff like that. Yeah, it did, you know, it helped me get going. Uh, you know, I feel like it kind of helped the offense, you know, start off fast and get them two first downs out the way and then we just start rolling. Obviously, there's a lot of guys who can catch the football on this team a lot. Um, there's going to be games where Hurts doesn't catch any balls or, 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 Devon, or whoever. Um, how do you guys all kind of deal with that? It seems like a pretty unselfish group uh, from what we can tell. Yeah, we all are unselfish. We know at the end of the day, like, we got to get each other open. We got to help each other out. And at the end of the day, you know, there's only one ball on the field. And the ultimate goal is to, to win regardless. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when y'all when y'all talk to Smitty, he he said he he gonna let y'all know, you know, the difference between them. So yeah, you gotta wait till y'all talk to him, <laughs> huh? But behind the scenes, you know, he you know he more talkative, you know, he open up, laugh, he pretty goofy. But um, you know, he only show that to you know certain people. You mentioned that you trained with Calvin Ridley over the summer. Did you get a chance to talk to him after the game or even before the game? Yeah, after the game, I uh, I was talking to him and uh, Cal Pitts, um, and you know. Just wishing them boys luck. As far as as far as that unselfishness you were just talking about, is that something that takes a little while? Because like everybody was a star in college, everybody caught a bunch of balls. Did, does it take a little while to kind of accept that? And, and um, I mean, it depends on the person. You know, some people they are different, but um, we all know we gotta you know put our egos to the side and try to get wins week in and week out. Did you kind of learn that? You kind of learned that last year. I mean, going through the season that you did. I mean, obviously got off to a rough start with you. Yeah, I had to, you know, I had to learn early, you know, how to play my role and do what I need to do to help this team. If that's playing on practice squad or whatever, then, you know, it is what it is. you get the sense, though, that it's important to make sure that all of you guys Yeah, I do. That's one thing I do like about it. You know, everybody, everybody has their plays, everybody has their touches, but, you know, it's what you do with it. Uh, that's the whole ultimate goal, you know. When you get your, you know, whatever touches you get, you know, what you're going to do with it? You're going to make the best of them or what? All the receivers seem to block really well someday. Uh, how much probably do all you got? In this offense, I guess you really have to uh, to create space and, and, you know, with short passes and everything. How, how much pride do you guys all have in that aspect of your game? Uh, shoot, we know we're blocking for our brothers, so we know we want, we want our brothers to get a first down, get a touchdown, so we're going to do what we can to, you know, free them up. When, when you look at the game that uh, Jalen Hurts had on, on Sunday, what, what did you notice was like the biggest difference from like last year, you know, when, when you go for playing at the same time? Um, really, you know, it, it was the first game. He's, he's look, he looked a lot better, you know, more fluent, stepping up in the pocket. He just, you know, he looked like a whole, whole better quarterback. But, you know, he is that guy. I mean, did some of that come because, like, you know, last year in December when he was playing, it was mostly like an offense that was designed for Carson and the Um, Honestly, you know, it was, I guess it was the scheme, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's him, you know. He stepped up, he, um, you know, he playing a different role than he played last year. All of them have that, you know, that certain personality. They just show, you know, they show what they want to show. But Landon, you know, he's going to show who he is regardless of, you know, who's around. That's just the type of person he is. Do you think the, the, the first three plays the other night, uh, the other day, does that make you tougher to defend? Like, because now teams kind of, they know that there's more to your game than just, you know, running go routes. And... Um, it's, you know, tougher for defense for, you know, the whole defense, regardless of just me. It's like, uh, like I can run these bubbles and gain 10, 15 yards and we can, you know, fake or whatever it is and it's just different. You know, we can open up in different ways. What's it like being in an offense that, you know, you guys sort of take what, what's there, you know, you call plays based off of the look that you get at the line of scrimmage sometimes. How does that compare to like your college offense and I mean, what's it like? Being in uh, with this offense, you know, Jelly got the free will to, 
you know, check, make different calls and stuff like that. And college, it was, you know, kind of set. Is you know, we got this, you got that. So different now is, you know, we have, we we're professional, so we have the free free will to, you know, make checks.